stars like our own sun form from gas clouds that have about every kind of element there is, as well as some pretty complicated molecules. Stuff left over after the sun forms usually turns into a system of planets. Some of these planets have a solid surface. Perhaps liquid seas. And a gaseous atmosphere. A rich environment for atoms and molecules to come together in a complex chemical reaction. Carbon atoms, in particular, link together to form complex organic molecules and amino acids. Chemical catalysts speed reactions along. The products of one chemical reaction become the raw material for new reactions. At some level of complexity, a catalyst becomes an enzyme. An amino acid chain becomes a protein. A loop of chemical reactions become a metabolism and chemistry becomes biology. On our planet, and perhaps countless others, life arose. The DNA molecule, which is the basis of all organic life on Earth, is more intricate by far than any spiral galaxy. Because the structure of DNA contains something new, something that was missing from inanimate matter before the origin of life. It contains information. The DNA molecule encodes not only the information necessary to make copies of itself, but the information necessary to construct an entire organism. The blueprints for an ant, or a dolphin, or a bullfrog, or even a person. All of this information is somehow built into the structure of an organism's DNA in a molecular code billions of letters long. This information wasn't always there. The first DNA molecules could probably do nothing more than make copies of themselves from the surrounding molecules. This self-reproduction is a fundamental aspect of what we call life. And once there was life, a new set of rules took over the laws of natural selection. Life became matter that evolved as a result of environmental pressures. Matter that changed randomly. But those changes only endured if they improved a life form's chances of survival in each environment. Change with a purpose. While a species' evolution is determined by the interaction of random changes and environmental pressures, changes in an individual life form can be the result of an organism's reacting and adapting within its own sphere of influence. It can push back at its environment. The better a system was at making copies of itself, the more copies there were in the next generation. As the first living organisms adapted to ever-changing environments, a greater diversity of living things arose. A side effect of this increase of diversity was increased complexity. Now, all of our tests point ever more towards the complex end of our complexity meter. Consider a living, single-celled organism. There's nothing reversible about life or death, or eating, or being eaten. And there is uniqueness. Unlike electrons that are interchangeable, even single cells are absolutely unique. They may be capable of the same functionality, but they are always different in form and structure.
single cells soon join together to form multicellular colonies. And cells in these new colonies, once functionally interchangeable, became increasingly specialized. Some cells did the digesting, others became responsible for movement. Specialized cells led to the specialized tissues and organs. And most importantly, cells that could respond to light or electricity or chemical disturbances evolved into full-fledged nervous systems.